here's the Xiaomi Scooter 4 Pro. There's plenty to like about it and looks like this new generation adds all the features we've all been dreaming of. But is it the best city scooter ever made? Let's inspect! Hi everybody, nice to meet you, Michael my name. This here happens to be the latest from the ultra popular Mi Scooter line, or as they call it nowadays, the Xiaomi Scooter line. That's the 4 Pro. And Xiaomi being market leaders, they do have three grades of different types of scooters, different types of city scooters that they manufacture. The regular uh, series, which are the Mi Scooter 1, the Mi Scooter 3. Then they have the Essential line, which is something like a light edition limited range but also very budget oriented and the pro edition which is usually bringing extended range and all the cool innovations this belongs to the last group and that's the four pro in a matter of fact it's a successor not to the third generation it's more of a successor to the mi scooter 2 pro which still happens to be one of the best sold xiaomi scooters ever but here i think this body has all that it takes in order to be the best city electric scooter ever made and we need to figure out whether that really is the case. If you're on the hunt for a non-off-road e-scooter solution, the few meaningful competitors are coming mostly from Ninebot, which happens to also be part of the huge Mi family. Certainly the choice between Ninebot Max and Xiaomi Scooter 4 Pro will generate a lot of passionate discussions in the coming months. But the fact is that thankfully, unlike what happens to other tech industries, electric scooter development continues to evolve at a rather nice pace. I'm unpacking for you one of the very first retail units of the Xiaomi Scooter 4 Pro, kudos to the handwriting of the Dutch customs. Looks like they've had a sneak peek onto it even before myself. Unboxing a new scooter is traditionally a very fun to-do exercise, at least on my end, applying the favorite hack to cut loose the bottom area of the package because it eliminates the need to go through the hassle with lifting the scooter up. See that? Easy peasy! For what it's worth, since the very first M365, eventually renamed to Mi Scooter, the packaging alignment is almost the same and there only are a few basic tasks that you need to do before the first ride. Read the user guide as a starter, then mount the handlebar, be careful with the connectors, then Tighten the four supporting screws, charge the battery to full, check the tap pressure in the meanwhile, and activate. Yeah, Xiaomi asks you to activate the scooter. First of all, in order to help you in the case of theft. Secondly, because this seems to be the way to make you watch a short tutorial with recommendations and best practices about how to ride the scooter. Since the setup work is out of our way and obviously it's not taking too long time, it's a good moment to see the main technical highlights. A brand new 350 watt motor with 700 watts peak power, 10 inch tubeless, self sealing, puncture proof tires, aerospace aluminium body, magnetic charging port and lid, upgraded size for more comfortable riding, Bluetooth support, smartphone app control, and weight which is significantly less than what you get from the 9 bot Max. In my videos, I very often say that specs are not the most important part, but here it could be exactly otherwise. <laughs> I think it's all about the specs when it comes to the Mi Scooter 4 Pro. Uh, thing is that through the years, Xiaomi have sold millions of units and they were able to track down which are the most common issues, but also to observe the market because there are a lot of aftermarket third-party solutions that people apply, like um, uh, tubeless tires or fender extenders, that kind of stuff. So they actually addressed all the critical issues, but also added some so much needed improvements. And that's why I think it's all about the specs, because some of these upgrades are beyond the visible part. Probably the most important upgrades are the tires. Still pneumatic, but now they're tubeless. Okay, means that they don't have this inner tube and they have sealant instead. Therefore, if a puncture happens, it's kind of self-healing, so you wouldn't notice any trouble. The other big upgrade is about the folding mechanism. It's more reliable than ever. I didn't sense any troubles after more than 100 kilometers of testing. And you will literally find upgrades about each and every component. Pretty sure you do have a lot of questions about the motor performance, the battery range and everything else. So I guess I already have the answers. We're going to start by exploring the details of each and every component that matters. 
The motor. It's among the most essential parts and it is a brand new integration with the new size of the tires. In peak moments, it doubles the standard power and goes as high as close to 700 watts. While Xiaomi do not disclose the exact torque value, it is notably more powerful than the previous generations, feels on par with the motor used by Nibot Max, inclines do not feel like a challenge for the scooter as long as they are less than 20 degree angle. The braking system is still dual, you count on the front electronic brake as well as the rear mechanical disc brake backed by a dual pad system, less noisy, more effective. Still not hydraulic, but effectiveness is good. The braking distance is now improved thanks to the greater tire surface, the more efficient motor braking and the rear disc brake upgrade. From all the scooters that I've had through the years, Xiaomi are my favorite about good integration of a braking system. Perhaps for some regions like Germany, there's gonna be a slight modification so that the scooter is fully compliant with the local regulations. As for the construction and the design, most of what happened is not notable at the first sight, but the small modifications also convert into more comfortable feeling. Check the fender, well attached to the frame, it won't break as easy as on Mi Scooter 1. There is no suspension, some of you are going to say that's bad, but it's not. Cheap suspensions add noise, unnecessary weight and usually don't improve much. Thicker and bigger tires, on the other hand, can act as a suspension. The fact that the tires now are tubeless and filled with sealant means that you can keep them at lower pressure and I promise you that this setup offers smoother riding than almost every scooter with dual suspension setup in the sub thousand dollar segment. Speaking of the tires, this has historically been the most troubled part because of the so many reported punctures. I'm happy to say that I haven't had a flat tire with Xiaomi Scooter 4 Pro yet and I hope this is going to be the case for much longer than that. The battery continues to be installed in the bottom area of the scooter. On top we have a wide enough board, a bit longer this time, covered with rubber pad, so anti-slippery surface which, thanks to the choice of material and cover, wouldn't look too dirty, even if it is. The capacity of the battery has grown as compared to Mi Scooter 3 and the range here should be the same or comparable to Mi Scooter 2 Pro up to 45 kilometers in ideal conditions. At gear 2 I was close to 38, which for an 88 kilo person driving at maximum mode is quite good, though that these achievements vary on different factors, such as tire pressure, acceleration frequency, type of terrain, aggressiveness of the rider and many others. Don't get too upset if your first ride covers like half of that. In time, it always gets better because you're going to gain experience and figure out how to extract the most out of the hardware. Going up the stem, and this is the area almost identical to Xiaomi Scooter 3. Handles are comfortable, the brakes trigger well responsive, there still is a bell integrating the lock mechanism and a nice display. Given the fact that most of these scooters are being used in open areas, most often hot and sunny places, Xiaomi better figure out a way to improve the visibility. A basic monochrome LCD will be much better solution in my opinion. Although the display here is AMOLED, you can enjoy these colors at down, at night or when the weather is really cloudy. It's fair to compliment Xiaomi for looking at the smallest details too. Turn the headlight on and the brightness decreases so that it's not too irritating. This whole top area is actually much smarter than what you may expect. Besides showing the speed grades and letting you switch between gears by double pressing the power button, it also hosts Bluetooth module for connecting to a smartphone app. Ways to lock the scooter, update the firmware, enable or disable the cruise control. Oh yeah, it's back, fully working and I hope it wouldn't disappear after the next firmware update. Know that in some countries it is prohibited to use this function. Important also are the range estimations and the battery status. This smart feature set of the scooter has become so popular that there even are some aftermarket solutions in Play Store for generations 1 and 2 not yet compatible with Xiaomi Scooter 4 Pro, but I hope they will be soon enough. As you may know, I always think of possible ways to improve technology, not only because I want to show you design flows and drawbacks, but also because sometimes this could help to make the next generation 
even better. So I definitely would prefer a better visible in sunlight display, maybe foldable handlebars, or to find a way to make the handles easily detachable so that the scooter gets transportation friendlier. Also, looking at the way this wire is exposed, makes sense for Xiaomi to think of better waterproofing after all. But even as it is, I think this is the best city electric scooter ever made. Well, could be that uh, you have other things in your mind and of course I would love to hear from, from you about your opinion. Do you agree with me about this being almost perfect? And uh, maybe we can talk about the price aspect because true, the price spike is obvious, notable and it costs almost as much as an iBolt Max. So everything you want to share is uh, more than welcome in the comment section down below the video. More information linked to the product is available in the video description. I'm Michael, been such a pleasure. Enjoy your day, ride safely. See you soon, bye.